If YouTube playlists are not your thing, you can find this course and more at poll.unfgames.com. It's easier to follow along and know where you left off. Now, let's start the video. Let's start with a brief introduction to Unreal Engine. What we will see is what is a game engine and the details of specifically Unreal Engine, right? Because that's what, why we're interested in this topic. We need to know this foundation in order to understand all that we're going to do in the next videos. And well, it's good to know who am I. My name is Ramana Purisaga. I'm a game developer, educator, and C++ programmer. And while also a dog enthusiast, it's important to, to mention, right? Also, I'm currently an authorized instructor, partner for Epic Games. I'm not associated with them in any way. I do not speak for them, but they have authorized me to give classes, courses, and other education stuff. And well, you can find me in these, in these um, links. So what is a game engine? Let's get to the point really quickly, because this is a brief introduction. A game engine is a framework and a tool set that can be used to develop interactive experiences. This used to say games, but a real engine now does a lot more than just games. There is virtual production, uh, architectural visualization, movies. So yeah, it's a tool set and a framework. And inside these tools, we have an audio engine, render engine, physics engine, now called Chaos. Input Manager, AI System, and many, many more. All of these are integrated in the game engine. And it's referred to a game engine. But in the case that of Unreal, like I said, you can craft any experience that needs to be in real time. So any game engine will be a framework because every game engine has their own internal structure. And a toolset, it will be the tools that the game engine provides. In the case of Unreal, the way the, the workflows it goes is th through importing stuff to the, to the Unreal Engine. You, you will probably create 3D models, characters, textures, animations, audio in external software, and then import it to Unreal. But with Unreal 5, this is it starts being less the case because you can model inside Unreal. You can create animations inside Unreal. You, now with meta sounds, you can create the audio uh, procedurally inside Unreal. So it's, this graph will continue to change as more tools get added to Unreal. And after importing all these assets with Unreal Engine, you can use the physics engine, audio processing, level design, uh, blueprint scripting to create more functionality to make it so the texture that you use can change colors or react depending on, on, on some gameplay or project mechanic. So Unreal Engine is a full suit of integrated tools for developers to use to design and build games, simulations, and visualizations. While many assets can be developed from within Unreal, and this is increasing the number of assets that you will be able to do with Unreal, it will probably increase uh, as, as time passes on, but most of them are created externally through tools like 3ds Max, Blender, ZBrush, and more. So let's start.